Savannah, uh, obviously, just uh, the depth of the event this year asks for 54 low even in the semifinals. Uh, but just how reassuring is that? How encouraging is that? Good, yeah. It wasn't my smoothest race ever. It's a little bit gusty out there, so I had to adapt a little bit. It wasn't, it didn't exactly go to plan the race, but my fastest one ever and a Canadian national record, yes. so I'm very excited Congratulations. about it. Congratulations. Fantastic work. I mean, uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's not just your heart and, and, and your desire. Sometimes you need great dance partners and obviously having, you know, uh, an American under 20 record holder right next to you. I just, uh, uh, how much fun was that over the last couple of hurdles for you and Kayla just to push each other? It was fun. Yeah, it was good. There's not many races throughout the season where you get to have someone right next to you until you get to these big events. So that was really exciting. And it was, I was excited knowing that there was fast people. Everyone here is fast. And so we just keep pushing each other and just keep getting better because of it. And speaking of, obviously, uh, come the final, what everybody's been waiting for all year is to finally get, you know, not only you and Akela, but obviously Rachel and, 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 and Jasmine. I mean, you did such a brilliant job last year of just being the best version of Savannah, and I know you're going to do the same again on Saturday, but just as a competitor, how, how special are those opportunities for you? I'm excited for it. You know, it's easy to get caught up in placement and what you want to do and what I did last year, but this year was kind of just about finding out how to have fun with track. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to push myself to a level that I've never been at before. And I know with those other girls on the track, that that'll definitely happen. Was the pen really kind of a breakthrough moment for you? Because I think you set a new record there in the Broadway. And then, I mean, the time has been chipping off. So where, like, where do you feel like that break is? Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. We tried out some new patterns this year and tried some new things that worked and some things that didn't. And so it's just kind of been adjusting. I don't know if there is a set moment, but kind of a series of smaller breakthrough moments that have kind of accumulated to now. When you talk uh, about the record, like as you were coming up, you know, through uh, your youth track in, in Canada, like when did that Sage Watson, you know, run, like start to become like, you know, like when did you start to become aware of it? And like, and then when did you really start to be like, okay, like, when, when do I think I can get there? Right. Um, I would say that the idea kind of first got put in my head last year at Nationals. Uh, the final, the time that I ran in the final is definitely unexpected. Um, maybe expected by my coach, but that's about it. And uh, so I think after that moment is when, you know, those big goals like World Championships, the Olympics, Canadian records, that's when things kind of started coming into conversation. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you so much.